in this JavaScript tutorial, we are going to see what are variables and what is the syntax for declaring the variables and how you can assign the value to the variables and also we'll see the example. So let's see what is variable first. So variables are the nothing but the user defined names which is provided to the containers for storing the values. For example, let's say we brought some vegetables from the market. It can be vegetables and the fruits. So once you brought vegetables and fruits to the your house or the home, so you will keep it separately vegetables and the banana in different different container, right? So like that only we are creating the containers to store the values. It can be the numeric numbers or strings. So in the sense, it can be any country name or any city name like that. So those things can be uh, placed, placed it in the string format. So variables must be identified with the unique names. So whenever you are creating the variables, you need to provide the unique names. And uh, in the JavaScript, variables are the case sensitive. For example, uh, here, if you look at the example one, here I'm providing the one variable name called as month. So this is in the smaller case. And similar way, we can define another variable in the upper case. So why? So that's the reason while you are creating the variables, you need to be careful. So you need to specify the variable variable names properly. So it can be in upper case or the lower case. So JavaScript variables are the case sensitive. So you can define the lower case variable with the same name and also you can with the same name you can define the upper case letter variable as well. So at a high level, so this is all about the variables. So you might have got some idea like what are variables in the JavaScript. So this is the syntax. You need to define the first data type name and followed by the variable name and the value. So this is a simple syntax. And if you look at the first example here, so where is the data type name and followed by the user defined name for the variable. Here I have provided the month and followed by the month name. It can be any value. So this is called a string. So here you need to add the single quotation before and after. And this semicolon is optional. So if you are giving it, just maintain the same standard throughout your project. And if you're not giving it, so don't specify it here and there in the intermediate. So just maintain the simple standard. You specify double quotes or the single quotes and followed by the semicolon. In between, you can write. It can be the set of characters. It can be the any alphabets or the numeric numbers. You can write it inside the single quotes or the double quotes. So let's see the example two as well. So sorry, guys. Let me update the example two. And if you see here, here I have defined the data type name and followed by the year. That's a user defined name. Here I have provided the, provided the year and followed by the number. That's a numeric number. So whenever you are assigning the numeric number to the variable directly, directly you can assign the value to the variable. And if you look at here in the first example, this is a string value. We have specified it in the single quotation or you can specify it in the double quotes also. And for numeric numbers, you can directly assign to the variable over here, right? So this is all about the syntax and the simple example for the variables in the JavaScript. So we need to follow the set of rules while creating the variables. So similarly, let's say, let's take an example of cricket match. So there in a war, we have the six balls and we have 11 players and also whenever there is a power play, batting power, power play. So outside the 30 yard circle, only two players can stand, right? So those are the rules and regulations while playing the cricket. So similarly, while you are creating the variables, we have the set of rules and regulations in the JavaScript programming. So let's look at one by one. So names must be begin with the letter guys. So it can be uppercase letter or it can be the lowercase letter. So always start a variable name with the lowercase letter. And if variable contains the multiple words, you need to start with the smaller case and followed by the uppercase. For example, if I'm adding the variable name as the month, directly I can add it month. If I'm adding month name, so it will be like this. So always start the variable name with the lowercase and if any additional words are coming in between in between the variable name just add it, add it in the uppercase like this and coming to the second rule 
names can contain letters, digits, underscores, and dollar signs. And let's look at the another third rule. Variable names can also begin with the dollar and underscore. And the fourth rule is names are case sensitive, guys. As I said, I can define or I can create the variable with the smaller case a and in uppercase a. That's a, these are the two different variables. So that is possible. So while creating the variables, you need to be very careful uh, while giving name to the variables. So let's look at the final rule. So reserved, reserved keywords. So cannot be used as the name of the variables, for example. So in our case, where is the data type? So these where, or if I if you look at here down, so where in the reser reserved keywords, where const for if else do while true false. So these are the keywords which are already defined in the JavaScript programming, right? So those are the keywords. It cannot be used while you are giving the variable names, right? So these are the couple of rules and regulations you need to follow while coding with the JavaScript. So let's look at the practical stuff. We'll start creating the variables and we'll start assigning the values and we'll see a couple, couple more examples with the uppercase and lowercase and also we'll see how to specify the name of the variable as well. So here I'll go to the Visual Studio. You can open Visual Studio Code Editor and here you can select the theme whichever you like it. You can go to the file and here preferences and theme color theme. In my case, I have already selected a dark high contrast. If you want red, you can select on red. It will be red. So let me revert the changes back. So in my case, I will select the dark high contrast. So that's it, guys. So on the top left, you'll be finding the terminal. So you need to open the terminal first. So in my case, it is uh, showing the three dots. If you're not able to find the terminal over here on the top left, you, you can click on three dots and select the terminal. And here, here we can select the new terminal. So simply I'm opening the terminal over here and I will click click this particular up arrow. That's it guys. So here, just you type the node. So that's it. So it will simply display displays you the node version which is installed in your system. So let's start declaring the variable and then we'll assign the value to the variable and we'll start printing the value of the variable and also we'll start exploring a couple of different types of variable as well. As I said, oh, we can we can declare the case sensitive variables. So JavaScript supports for the case sensitive as well, right? So let's start with a simple example. Here I'll start with the var and followed by the variable name as color. So firstly, I'm declaring the variable and after that, at the end, I'm entering the semicolon. So semicolon is optional. If you want, you can enter. Otherwise, you can, if you're not entering also, it will create the color as a variable. So here we have created the variable. That's a color. So let's assign the value to the variable. Here I'll say color. And I will specify the value to the variable. In the sense, I will assign the value to the variable called color as blue. And that's it. So let's print the color value. You can directly use the variable name and it will print you the color as blue. And also you can override the value of the color by using the color variable and followed by that we can assign the reassign the value. So here I'll say this time red. So let's print the value of the color variable. So this time it is the red as the value. So, so far you have seen how to declare the variables and how to assign the value to the variables and also you have seen how to access the variable value. So let's do it in the single line. So here I'll say var and followed by I will specify the color 2 as the variable name. So as I said, any variable can be combination of the numeric value and as well as the alphabets, right? So here we have prov provided the variable name as alphabets plus the numeric value. So here I'll assign the value as white. So this color 2 is the white right now, right? So in the single line, this is how you can declare the variable and also you can directly assign the value in the single line.
So that's it. So let's try to print the color to variable value. And if you see here, output is white. Right? So, so far you have seen how to declare and assign the value to the variables. So now let's try to create a similar variable called the color2. So now we have declared and assigned the value to the variable in the smaller case that's a color2. So if you look at here, so this is this is there in the smaller case. Let's try to create the similar variable in the upper case color2 and followed by that I will assign the some other value. So here I'll say green. So instead of green, I'll say this is a case sensitive. So you can write set of words as well, or you can write the single word as well. So that is possible uh, while creating the string variables. So here I'll say just uh, this is a case sensitive, right? So that's it, guys. So if I try to access color2 that's there in the caps so that is printing me the this is a case sensitive as the output right so if i try to access smaller case that is the color 2 so that prints me the white right so let's try to access smaller case color 2 and that is printing me the white so that's the reason javascript variables are the case sensitive and let's try to add the variable which has the multiple words let's say here i'll say where and followed by that so here let's say where followed by that color name and let's assign any color name over here you can say black and this time i'm not entering the semicolon still it will create the variable as color name so if you are having multiple words start with the smaller case and if in the intermediate if any new words are coming just add the first letter with the caps and followed by the smaller case letters so this is how you can create the variable if variable contains the multiple words so this time i'm not entering the semicolon at the end of the variable assignment so if you see here so if i try to access uh, variable name variable name variable Sorry guys, that's a color name variable and the output is black. So this is the expected value it's printing. So this is how you can create variables and also this is how you can assign the value to the variables in the JavaScript.